So-called anarcho-capitalists are not anarchists even a little bit? Let me be really clear here. I'm not offering that as a criticism of ANCAPs necessarily. Burritos, Corgis, Steve Buscemi, none of these things are necessarily anarchist in nature, but they're all universally beloved. Not everything needs to be anarchist all the time. That's okay. I do think ANCAPs should be criticized, and I think their ideology is whack as all hell, but that is not the focus of this video. I'm just here to explain why they're not anarchists, that's all. Along the way, I might make fun of them a little bit, because it's hard for me to talk about this toilet ideology without showing my contempt for it. Part 1. What do these words mean? Anarchism is a spectrum of ideologies that are opposed to unjustified hierarchies, be they political, social, economic, or any other axis of oppression that people invent. The term was coined to describe oneself politically by Pierre-Joseph Poonhound. An, meaning without, arcos, meaning rulers, and y, meaning make the word sound cooler. Capitalism is an economic system typified by these three things. One, private control of the means of production. That's a hierarchy. Two, free exchange of goods and services on the market. Three, wage labor. That's also a hierarchy. It sucks. Anarcho-capitalism is the belief that the state should be dismantled, but capitalism should somehow be maintained, which they think would, would work. They believe everyone should follow the non-aggression principle, which basically means you shouldn't initiate or threaten to initiate violence against someone or their property. Part 2. How are these things related? ANCAPs and real, actual anarchists believe that the state is illegitimate and should be dismantled. Though they share this conclusion, they both arrived at it from very different reasoning, and those differences make their goals mutually exclusive. Anarchists believe the state is illegitimate because it's a hierarchy that does not meet the burden of proof required to justify its existence. They don't like, for example, how states are always doing genocides and bowing to the needs of a slim minority of rich perverts at the expense of everyone else. Anarchist praxis tends to revolve around taking shit from rich perverts and giving it to people who need it, fighting systems designed to prevent oppressed folk from being in control of their own lives, and violating the non-aggression principle all over a Nazi's face. ANCAPs believe the state is illegitimate because it interferes with the operation of the market. The state prevents Adam Smith's invisible hand from guiding us all to laissez-faire heaven, as it would definitely do if the state just got out of the way, even though the state is necessary for capitalism to function. Also, they believe the taxation is theft, and boy, do they want to tell you about it. Their praxis tends to revolve around protecting property rights, and making absolutely sure that people who own shit get to keep it, even if that mad sucks for everybody else. You own the only well in town? Well, sucks for all those thirsty chumps. That's your property, and you earned it fair and square by inheriting it from someone else who built it, and maintained it with the help of all the people you now prohibit from using it. ANCAPs believe that all rights derive from property rights. The reason you have a right to autonomy over your own body is because you own yourself, and you're allowed to do whatever you want with yourself, even sell yourself. Which, I guess if you sold yourself, the money that you get wouldn't belong to you anymore, because you don't belong to you. Uh... Following from this position, their reasoning is that if property rights are not protected, no human rights are possible. So, while we may share a disdain for the government, anarchist and ANCAP ideologies are not compatible. Part 3. But what if they're the real anarchists, and you're fake anarchists pretending to be anarchists, but they're the real ones? Remember Proudhound, the first person to call themselves an anarchist? He was rather fond of the saying, property is theft. Anarchists tend to agree, because allowing property to be owned privately inevitably results in the accumulation of property by the few at the expense of the many. That's an economic hierarchy, my dude. Hierarchies have rulers. You can't subscribe to without rulersism if you want rulers. Even if you think those rulers deserve to rule, it's still a ruler, you dingling. And caps are quick to assure us that in the absence of the state, all agreements would be made between voluntary free actors for some reason. So while it's a hierarchy, it's not coercive, like it is when the government wants you to vaccinate your children. 
Except like if the alternative to accepting an exploitative agreement is starvation, as has been the case for most people whenever unregulated capitalism rears its ugly head, that's, you know, a little coercive. Maybe, you know, not all that materially distinguishable from state violence. Also, vaccinate your kids, guys. It's you're you're gonna get smallpox. And I like I don't agree with 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 what you say, but I will defend to my death your right not to get smallpox. Part four, you, sir, are biased. Yes, that's true. I don't much care for ANCAPism, and I do very much like anarchism, and I want to kiss Peter Kropotkin in that beautiful broom face of his. So let's hear it from Murray Rothbard. Oh, God. Did I... did I say that? Murray Rothbard is the libertarian economist who you might recognize from those Six Flags commercials. The dude who pretty much invented anarcho-capitalism once said, We are not anarchists, and that those who call us anarchists are not on firm etymological ground, and are being completely unhistorical. So, there it is. I agree with Murray Rothbard on something, I guess. That's pretty gross. Part 5. I'm not any kind of anarchist. Why should I care about any of this? Why'd you click on the video? I think it's fair to say I have some misgivings about ANCAPism, but my objection to them being called anarchists is not simply because I disagree with them or I don't like them. It's because their ideology is not that thing. They're more like turn-of-the-century liberals than anarchists, which is probably why they stole the word libertarian. Because it sounds kind of liberally, and liberal was taken, well, I mean, I guess libertarian was taken too by anarchists, but who cares about anarchists? You can take anarchist words, nobody minds. Probably part of the reason ANCAPs want to co-opt the term is to get into anarchist spaces and drown us out. Our beliefs present a threat to theirs, or I guess they would if anyone took our beliefs seriously. And I find that a little galling. I don't like the idea that groups who don't like my ideas are trying to make them more difficult to talk about or conceive of by changing the meaning of words to suit their agenda. It'd be Orwellian if it was being done by the state or by smart people, but it's actually being done by supplement-chugging Econ 101 anime avatars, so it's just kind of irritating. Also, by the way, you, you can't have capitalism without the state, because without the state and police and the military, there's no way to protect private property from the collective force of the working class. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that the state currently exists only to serve the interests. Hey, um, I got a little, I got a little worked up, and I'm sorry about that. Thank you for watching my video, I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit like and subscribe. There's another video about political correctness, um, that you can watch. Is That was the other video I did, you can watch that one.